Hey everybody, it's Chris Loud. Uh, a couple days ago I put a video out where I talked about artist block and getting out of a funk uh, when you're trying to paint. Uh, I painted a picture, um, kind of worked through a, a kind of a warm-up picture uh, of a lighthouse. And uh, after that was done, I was not out of that funk. Uh, so I continued to work my sketchbook to try and kind of pull myself out. And um, on one of those pages, I ended up with a pretty muddy mess and decided just to clear my palette uh, and put all my, the rest of my paint on that page, and I let that dry. And so in this video, I'm coming back to that, and I'm using that as my starting point, my background. So you'll see on here shortly that this uh, is, is kind, of a, kind of a messy starting point. Uh, but I was determined to just continue to work through this and see if I could pull something out of this and continue to paint until I was happy with something. There are several points in this video where I could have stopped and had a decent painting um, or an interesting painting. Uh, you know, nothing I have on here is a masterpiece by any stretch of the imagination. This is kind of me playing and trying to work through uh, my own artist block. So uh, I will show you this video. Um, it, at some point, as a matter of fact, I even pulled the tape off thinking, okay, I'm done. And uh, that page just kept looking at me and thinking, no, we, we, we've got more to do. So I kept playing with it. I put tape back on, uh, you'll see that, and, um, and, and I keep painting. And uh, at the very end, I pulled the tape off and I think, I'm done. I'm not really happy with it, but I figured I'm, I'm kind of done with this page. And as soon as I pulled that tape off, I realized, okay, I'm going to go a completely different direction and see if I can pull something out of this. And uh, I'll show you that. So at the end, I'll show you a couple of versions of, or, or places where I felt like I could have stopped. I didn't. Uh, and I'll show you the final version as well. Uh, if you have not seen that previous video, uh, there's some great comments from, from viewers uh, about what they do to get out of artist block or get out of the funk that they're in when they're painting. Um, so I highly recommend reading those comments, checking out the video if you haven't seen that yet. I'll put the link in the description. Uh, otherwise, I uh, hope you enjoy this video. So like I said, this demo is another attempt at what you might call painting your way out of artist block. Uh, I'm, I'm starting off by adding some large pieces of torn paper with gel medium in order to increase the interest right away with some big shapes. So. All in all, this turned into an abstract mixed media sketchbook painting, um, but by the end, very little of the paper still shows through. You will be able to see some of it, but um, uh, overall, it it, uh, it gets painted over. Um, and the torn paper that I'm using are just um, you know just things I have laying around that I believe this was something when I was playing with a gel plate, uh, just getting some of the extra paint off, uh, and then uh, again, just continue to use that to, to remove paint from the gel, uh, gel plate. So, um, but uh, always hang on to those because we'll find some, some use for them somewhere. And uh, if you've watched any of my videos, you know that I, I like this striped tissue paper that I uh, uh, found in, in uh, our recycling bin at one point. Um, and uh, eventually I'm going to run out of that. I'm going to have to find, find some more of that because uh, I, I, I use it quite a bit. I'm using um, torn paper and striped tissue paper um, along with brushes, uh, catalyst wedge, palette knife, um, and I, I believe I use a color shaper, a silicone paintbrush um, at one point uh, for for a little bit but you know here I'm just I'm really kind of just playing and I'm pulling a piece of paper off and moving them around just to see uh, if anything looks good and and uh, kind of decided to go with with this uh, for the torn paper and I, I will add a little bit more uh, eventually here but this is getting to one of those spots kind of early on where I I was actually starting to like just how that looked with with the red um, that's um, pure old red um, and uh, letting some of the background show through. Um, I'll show you here with a mat um, kind of what that looked like. And, 
And I was initially thinking, well, that actually is is kind of interesting looking to me. Um, very rough, and um, but just kind of as a sketchbook painting or sketchbook mixed media piece, um, that kind of worked. But I decided to, to keep moving um, and adding a little bit of, of uh, more of the light blue permanent that was on the background just to uh, see how that looked. But uh, eventually kind of ended up blending that with, with some of the pearl red. Um, kind of felt like that pulled away a little bit from from the rest of it. And the, uh, the torn piece of paper on the left, um, it'd be interesting to see if anyone else sees a gorilla head or gorilla face in that. Um, I didn't see that when I was painting, but watching the video back, I, I definitely kind of saw that. Um, and here I'm just starting to work on adding a little bit more of that, that uh, torn paper. And this is just a blue envelope that I, I believe I got a card in at one point and painted some, uh, basically just cleared my palette um, when I was done painting with something onto that envelope and let that dry. Um, it's a great way to make uh, collage paper, but it's also a great way to um, use up that, that extra paint um, as well as just letting that paint dry and, and using the peeled paint um, in pieces as well. But uh, at this point I'm just I'm looking for a little bit more color and um, that's why I decided to start adding a little bit of this, this paper and obviously uh, green uh, being the complementary color of red you know, was, was kind of a natural choice. Um, I think I might have gone a little bit too far with with this uh, torn paper, and we'll see what you what you think. But uh, when I'm done with this, I do pull the tape off and feel like I'm done. And and again, it it kind of kept looking at at it later and thought that, that it just wasn't working for me. So it'd be interesting to see uh, what what you all think if if you think that piece works with with this torn paper. But the colors I'm using here, uh, pure red. Permanent magenta comes in, Mars black, uh, light blue permanent, green gold, violet, and titanium white. And I also use uh, a little bit of lime green, which is the color that's on that envelope. Um, and, I, and I bring in a little bit of that later um, to play with that and just touch up some areas. And this is a uh, cardboard tool I made, um, some calipers that help you kind of find that golden ratio point, kind of uh, a great way to kind of figure out the the uh, third points, um, looking at the rule of thirds. So that's what that looks like there. Um, and I, I do pull the, the tape off um, and put tape back on um, and keep going. But uh, let me know what you think, and I'll, I'll show this at the end as well. But those calipers, uh, I just found a video online where, on YouTube where I could um, show you how to make those and I found a, a little pattern um, to make them. But it's a great tool to kind of find a, a focal point um, using those. And you can buy those uh, on, on Amazon. I know I haven't looked anywhere else, but um, they're, the ones that you can buy are, are metal and a little more uh, sturdy than, than what I'm using. But I just saw that and wanted to try and make one. and. Uh, uh, oddly enough, I do use that quite a bit um, looking for focal points. Um, so I'll, I'll leave a link to one of the ones that I saw on Amazon so you can look at it and, uh, and, and check it out. It's uh, kind of an interesting tool. At this point, I, I kind of felt the uh, those torn pieces of paper with the green were just a little too much. So I, I, I painted those back a little bit and then just started um, trying to rub some of that off and let a little bit of that show through. So some of the comments that, that I got from the last video about Artist Block were really pretty interesting. Um, I know, um, you know, they, they range from um, stepping away um, for an hour or several weeks um, to an hour, um, I guess I said an hour, um, to, you know, just painting through like I'm doing, just to keep painting and, and trying to work it out through continuing to paint. Um, Kathy mentioned gessoing canvases, you know, stopping and, and being productive and, and doing something like that, or scribbling in a scribble journal, which I'd never heard of uh, before, but 
but I love the idea. So I, I grabbed um, a little journal, extra journal I had, and, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give that a try where you just scribble in it. Um, I thought that was a, a really interesting idea. You know, I know Emmanuel talked about sending a photo uh, of a stuck piece to a friend to see what catches their eye and for some feedback. Um, Irene talked uh, about looking at small parts of past paintings that can be expanded to their own painting. Um, the Roadside Restorer mentioned standing out in the rain, which I thought was a, a, a very unique idea. Um, I guess in a way, kind of a, <laughs> I don't know if this is um, what the meaning was, but you know, I guess if you, if you uh, kind of look at the uh, metaphor there, I mean, it's kind of cleaning the, the artist block away or washing the artist block away. But uh, hey, I, I just thought it sounded fun actually, <laughs> just standing out in the rain um, or, or going somewhere else and, and, people watch and look at buildings and kind of get out of your your element um, so here, that was the uh, other painting where I took the tape off um, and here's where I decided to go a completely different direction and that is a uh, just a mix of the green gold and titanium white and I just started blocking uh, I'm just trying to pull out some some shapes and for those of you that uh, remember the Jetsons and the uh, robot made on the Jetson Rosie, uh, the uh, large figure on the, the left there. Um, that was the first thing that came to mind when I saw that. So that, that should be my new motto. If I, if I see Rosie in a painting, I, uh, I should stop. Um, I'm done. But uh, yeah, I, I got to this point and, and just felt like I'm just going to try and carve out some some of the shapes that I want in there and um, really kind of like this direction. Um, is that a great painting? Of course not, um, but it was, it's interesting um, and it, it is completely different than where I'd been heading with this. So, so if you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this and tutorials and prompts and prompt, challenge, prompt challenges, uh, feel free to subscribe. And if you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave those for me and I'll get back to you on those. And I'll show you here. Um, the first place I stopped when I pulled the tape off, uh, which is right here. And then I'll show you the final piece, so very different pieces. But let me know what you think. Thanks for watching and keep on painting.